Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. So tonight, I wanted to talk about the brand new Bon Jovi single entitled Legendary, the very first single dropped from their brand new album titled Forever, which will be coming out June 7th, and I cannot wait for it. So I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the song that dropped today, and then kind of discuss the upcoming album a little bit, and then hear feedback from you guys, what you guys think about the uh, think about the song, and, and what you're looking forward to about the new album. So Legendary. Um, was dropped about a month ago. They played a live performance of it at that uh, uh, that uh, award, that awards uh, that uh, that award that that uh, they celebrated John Bon Jovi for. I forget what it was called off the top of my head, but they had other artists coming out and playing uh, Bon Jovi songs, most notably for me, the Goo Goo Dolls, and I think Bruce Springsteen was in the house and uh, Bon Jovi. Uh, debuted their brand new song legendary so it's been out there for about a month the live version of it my ears have a hard time picking out especially if it's not like a live version of good quality it has i kind of have a hard time like deciphering something of that lower quality i could tell from that video that i kind of like the song but i was really really looking forward to hearing the studio version drop today and i was not disappointed um first of all bon jovi's not doing anything new here nor are they re or nor are they releasing a song that is living on a prayer part two or bad name part two or even it's my life part two um what it is is a song that i think fits the band this stage in their career john obviously coming off of vocal surgery that he had last year or the year before after some time after that really horrible disastrous uh tour in 2022 where john sounded absolutely terrible and the surgery sounds like it was a success. I think John sounds better on this than he sounded even on the 2020 studio album. And certainly better than he sounded during those live shows back in 2022. The song itself, it's a Bon Jovi song. I mean, it's it's exactly what you would expect. It's exactly what I expected. It's a song where I think John stays in his lane vocally. He's not trying to do anything that his voice is no longer capable of doing, which is a good thing. The chorus is big, which you would expect from a Bon Jovi song. The chorus is big, it is catchy, and it sticks in your head. And I love the sentiment of the song. Uh, I saw a, an interview with John talking about the song sort of being about stopping to uh, sniff the roses, so to speak. I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but the song talks about... Uh, it just kind of shrinks the world down, I guess. As After 2020, where John saw himself as a... Uh, news reporter reporting on all the events that were going on in the world around us and this song he just kind of draws it back and he's talking more about the friends that um will stand up for him and ref he uh, makes the the uh, van morrison reference of a brown-eyed girl talking about his wife um dorothea and how uh, she still believes in him Le in legendary and it's just it's just a great song with a great message and a great sentiment the music video is pretty cool. I, I watched I watched it at work, so I didn't like really pay, you know, I didn't really like sit there and analyze it, but I, I got to kind of intake some of the visuals and I really liked the band playing in front of like the, the big moon, like in the field and stuff. It's like the perfect visual because it, it feels like a real summertime, nighttime kind of a song to me. Like, I mean, it's nighttime right now. It's the weather is gorgeous outside. Like I could really, really easily just... <laughs> roll the windows down and pop legendary on blast it as loud as I freaking can. And then just go drive in the back road somewhere. But, uh, that's just the kind of song it feels like. So I like the song a lot. I don't, you know, I don't think it's a top notch, top shelf Bon Jovi song. I probably even prefer this house is not for sale, but I do like legendary better than anything off 2020. And I enjoy it. I think for what it is, it's, it's really good. Um, the album cover. The album cover was uh, released today as well. I think it looks really cool. It's another black and white photo that features pretty much just John. But I think the concept of the cover is a lot better than the like political poster of 2020. This time, John standing at a crosswalk with the uh, his Bon Jovi Forever jacket on. And there's... I, I can't tell if it's like... The other members of the band, there's like blurred out people walking. I can't tell if it's like other members of the band or if it's just random people. If it's other members of the band, that's really awesome. If it's other people, then it probably should have been like the other guys in the band. But either way, I think it's a really cool album cover. I like the design. I like the concept of it. 
pretty sweet. So, as I mentioned, the new album is entitled Forever. It's coming out June 7th this year. <clears throat> I can't wait. I'm going to pre-order it tomorrow, and I'm not even a big pre-order guy. I, I just miss the days of being able to go to a CD store, even if it's Walmart or Target, and being able to pick up the, the new CD that, you know, Bon Jovi or whoever it may be, and being able to just sort of take it home, enjoy it on the way home, listen to it on the way home, listen to it at home, and just kind of immerse myself into the new album. It's I, I kind of feel like that's been lost lately, because I don't know about where anyone else lives, but around here, our Walmart, they don't stock new release albums, unless it's like Taylor Swift, and quite frankly, I don't care about a new Taylor Swift release. Um, they like it is the case with Metallica. Metallica is about as big of a name as there is in rock music anymore they didn't have the new metallica album for i don't know at least a week um i was surprised that they actually had the stained album last year i kind of wasn't even expecting that so i pre-ordered it because i want this thing when it comes out and uh i don't want to i don't want to have to you know take any chances of not finding it or whatever and there's no around here there's nowhere else to go and be sure that anybody would have it the closest FYE to me is an hour and a half away, and heck, there's no guarantee that even they would have it at this point in time. So I'm pre-ordering it. Um, the track listing was dropped. I want to go over that real quick. So Legendary is going to kick off the new album. Um, that's an interesting choice to me. As much as I like Legendary, I think it kind of feels like a good album closer, actually. Um, or I think it'd be a good song somewhere in the middle of the album as well as an opener. I guess we'll see how it uh, how it flows with the rest of the album. Track two is a song called We Make It Look Easy. Track three is a song called Living Proof. Track four is Waves. Track five, Seeds. Track six, Kiss the Bride. Track seven, The People's House. Track eight, Walls of Jericho. Track nine, I Wrote You a Song. Track ten, Living in Paradise. Track eleven, My First Guitar. Track twelve, Hollow Man. So those are the song titles. There is a clip that uh, Bon Jovi's YouTube page dropped today where it, it shows uh, somebody driving in their car and they turn the radio station on and they hear uh, Living on a Prayer, then they change it and it's bad name, they they switch it again and it's It's My Life. And they switch it again and they, you hear like little clippets of some of the new songs. The first one is uh, We Make It Look Easy. You can pick it out because you can hear the words, We Make It Look Easy. <laughs> it kind of sounds pretty cool for the, you know, the little five seconds that you get. I think it sounds like a pretty cool track. I couldn't really decipher what the second one was. Uh, the third one kind of sounds like it might be the song Waves because I, I heard something about, uh, I think something about the, the tide is high or the tide is rising or something. I heard something about a tide, so I'm assuming it's the song Waves. I think all three songs sound pretty cool, so I'm really looking forward to this album when it comes out. I don't know if they plan on releasing another single before then. I kind of hope they do. I don't know which one it would be, but... Uh, it would uh, certainly be great to hear another track before it drops. Typical Bon Jovi, you know, as much as I love this band, as much as they are my favorite band, um, they almost always seem to put at least one song on the album that I don't like. Who knows, maybe this will be the one that sort of breaks the mold, I guess. Maybe I'll love all 12 of these tracks, but I'm kind of glad to see that we're back to 12-track albums. That's what I like with Bon Jovi. That's what they almost always went with um, from New Jersey all the way up through um, what about now? And then again, with the South is not for sale, we're all 12 track albums. So I'm kind of glad to go back to that, to that, uh, that mold there. So overall, um, oh, I did want to share one more thing too. I saw an interview with John today. I think it was with ultimate classic rock and he was talking about the new album and the new song legendary. And he, he, uh, had a quote that I thought was really interesting and I'm going to paraphrase it a little bit here. He said that the overarching theme of this album is joy. And how did I get to this joy? I had to work through a lot of dark misery. And I'm pretty sure he's referencing his uh, vocal problems a few years ago. So I thought that was a good quote from John. I think it really sheds some light on what this album is going to be about and what Legendary is about. So good stuff. I am so happy to have a new Bon Jovi song, a new Bon Jovi album coming out because I'll be honest. Two years ago, when I saw how bad they were struggling live, I was afraid that it was the end. And I never got to see Bon Jovi. So hopefully, hopefully I'll still get a chance to go see them at some point. Hopefully, knock on, I don't have any wood in here, but knock on wood, 
Maybe Richie will be back by that point. That would be awesome. But even if not, I still want to see John before he hangs it up. Uh, I was afraid that it was going to be the end. I thought 2020 was going to be the way that they, they went out. And that, to me, was not a very good record. So I'm happy to have this back. I think John sounds as good as you could realistically expect him to sound at this point. He's, I think he sounds better than he did on 2020. Um, this So far, this all sounds like it could be the album that followed up This House Is Not For Sale, which is, um, to me, I'm perfectly happy with that because I love that album. And so far, I'm liking what I hear with this one. So drop your thoughts in the comments below about Legendary and the new upcoming album, and I will catch you all in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,